Hello everyone, my name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and in today's video will be a massive update on my new batch Mermix Queens that I have caught. And before the video starts, I've always wanted to say this once I reached a larger audience, so let's see if we can hit 15 likes on this video, and with that out of the way, let's continue on with this update. So the first queen that was shown was actually the queen that I moved out of the Talisform Macarium, and she was caught back in August. And while this queen was caught back in August, she still hasn't gained any larva, but she is caring for a small batch, and hopefully those will develop. So these next three queens are some of the newer queens that I caught, and compared to the first queen, they all have a larger sized batch of eggs, and are doing really well. Our fourth queen is a bit different from the rest, and if you look closely you can see that she only has one wing, and at the moment she only has two eggs which makes me wonder if she's mated or not. This next queen on the other hand is doing quite well with a small batch, while the queen after that has her eggs more spread out. And again we have another queen who has a batch of eggs, but her gaster is more enlarged than most of my previous queens. There is that one queen though that still hasn't laid any eggs, even though I have caught and left all the queens alone at the same time. What I've also found is that all the queens have their own personalities and behaviors. Like this particular queen, she didn't rush toward the open end of the test tube, and this shows that not only is every species' behavior is different, each queen's behavior is different. Since these queens are likely the same exact species, I plan on selling most of them. Not internationally, but locally once they get their first ninidics. Now onto the next colony, here is my new two queen colony of this species, and since the previous two queen colony are now separated, I decided to make another dual queen colony. Their egg piles are separate, so that may be a sign that they are just tolerating one another and not merging as one, but I don't know, that's just my opinion. Hopefully in the next update, they'll have combined their egg piles. And now here's my three queen colony, and they have made their egg pile as one, which is a good sign that they are one colony. The workers however can kill any of the queens, so I had taken that risk in mind beforehand. And finally onto the last two queens, so this one has surpassed many of the other colonies. But if you can tell, there are queen remains, and those are actually two queen remains to be exact, from a failed three queen colony attempt. But I wasn't really expecting that to happen since they were all doing well when I first put them in, but not all multiple queen colonies do as well as one would think. Back to the queen, she was probably able to get the cocoon so fast because of the additional protein. And lastly, here is the final queen that I have to show. And just like the others, she has a small batch of eggs and tends to it actively. But those are some of the newly caught queens that I have captured this year. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And I'll see you in the next video.